Hey, so I wanted to check in today um, because it's my first week off from shows and today I went to dance class. I didn't vlog it because it um, takes a lot to get there and I didn't want to worry about the other artists because I study at Xenon Dance and there's a lot of other professional dancers there and I took a tap class though. It was really fun. Um, he worked us really hard and I um, was very sweaty afterwards, so, um, it did the job, and I got to do, uh, a lot more tap, because I need to keep up on that, so remember, as actors, keep up on your dancing, and singing, and acting, so, like, keep working, even if you have a break, take class, that's what I hear all the time, take class, take class, take class, it's very important, so that's what I did today, is take class. So I'll check in with you next time I have something fun. Okay, so since some of my videos can get kind of short, I decided that I wanted to film a little segment on me reading some things I've put in my journal as advice to myself. And maybe it might help some of you guys with some of your auditions. A lot of this is audition help. But just take it or leave it. These are things that help me, so if they don't help you, I'm sorry. And, you know, um, try something new, whatever it is. But these are things that help me, and if they work for you, then I'm glad I helped. So, I always have to remember that, and I'm, gonna be, I'm reading from this, that's what I'm looking at. Um, to remember that the panel isn't there to give you validation. If you ask for validation, it's kind of like you're giving the puppy eyes, you're hoping someone's going to be like, oh, that was great, and people can see that on your face. And they don't want to have to give you validation. It's like an extra job added on to them watching you and trying to find who they want to cast. And they don't want you to be asking the audience for validation either, because that's not the audience's job. They're there to enjoy your performance. So to ask for validation at an audition is just not a great idea. I used to do it a lot. I give puppy eyes and, you know, hope that I get some kind of contact. You just do your thing. You know you're amazing because all of you are amazing. You know you're amazing and then you leave it at that. You don't ask for any kind of help in that department. Also, I like to find things that keep me honest. It's really important to make sure that you are doing what you need to do. And so there's certain things that you might fall back on as bad habits or things like that. And so find little quirks in your work that will tell you you're doing your bad habit or you're um, doing what you're not supposed to or you're not doing what your teacher had taught you to do. So. Find things that help you identify those bad habits or those things you don't want yourself to be doing. And that's what I call keeping myself honest is because I'm not lying about <laughs> where I'm putting my training and if I'm doing it wrong or right. I can tell my body that it's wrong and fix it. And so remember to keep yourself honest so that you can fix all your mistakes and make sure that you make less of them. So I hope you enjoyed some of this advice. I'll be reading some more out of this book later on, I think, or just some that I come up with. But I hope it helps. And keep working, keep auditioning. If you're working on acting, obviously some of you may not be. So then, you know, just hopefully you're enjoying these videos. But have fun with the job. So I went to the Fringe Festival for the very first time this year, and it was really fun. I went with a friend, and we had a blast. It's awesome. You get to see a bunch of different shows that people have written, and they put it together in a short amount of time, I believe. And you get to see just people who love theater to do different performances. I saw some people from my school who were putting stuff together, and so it was really fun. I got to see three different shows for only $16, so that's a pretty good deal, and then you just hang out with friends, there's some breaks in the middle to chat about the different shows, and it's just a really great time to get together with a theater community. It was also really fun, I went with my friend, and her friends from her production of Mary Poppins came, so I got to talk with them and meet them. I had never met them before, they did a fantastic job in their production, so did my friend, she's amazing. Um, she's working, doing theater too, um, so she does a great job. Shout out to Brooke. 
And so, yeah, it was a great time and I had fun and I advise you to at least go to one Fringe Festival wherever you live um, to see a bunch of theater because it's a lot of fun and very educational. Thanks for watching my video. Please like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't yet so I know that these videos are doing well. Um, and please comment down below something that you did that was kind this week. Keep spreading kindness to others because it will come back to you. So comment down below what that kind act was. And I will see you all next week. Bye!